tends to happen is families decide that they don't want the pet after all and Gina and people like her have to take up the slack. How many animals arriving? Are they arriving by the hour at this point to pause? They're arriving by the hour. Everything that's here has arrived in the last few days. Uh, we're just, they just seem to be dropping out of the skies at the moment. Whether they're knocking down the trees or whether they're unwanted pets, we're not sure. But they're definitely, it's, it's started very early this year. It started on Stephen's Day. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really desperately... Well, I read somewhere that you guys are so busy and so overpacked that you're actually farming some of these out and paying local kennels to mine the animals. We are. We have 12 in local kennels at the moment and they're charging us 12 euros a night. So that's nearly a thousand a week okay. that we're paying in kenneling fees besides what we have ourselves so it's, it's crazy we just cannot split anymore at the minute but going into the sales take time out and maybe throw 10 euro into gina's account we'll give you the details shortly uh, tell us about some of the new recruits i believe this guy over here now will give sergey boop a, a run without the pole he can clear 10 foot walls no problem he can clear 10 foot walls no problem <laughs> this guy we call shergar he's a beautiful beautiful dog he was found at liffey valley shopping center just uh, christmas probably eve probably lost rather than abandoned do you feel i say he's lost he was quite thin he may have been lost for a few days possibly because a dog that size would lose weight very fast but he's a very gentle animal somebody's pet and if not what he needs is a full-time mommy he needs somebody who's going to be with him all the okay. time because the minute you turn your back on him he's, he's gone. gone because he got out of the kennels he was in the boarding kennels in a thigh and he got no. out and it took two days to catch him because he just took off he's sitting there watching the great escape over the christmas somebody's pet no doubt about it if he is yours or you know who owns him give us a call here and we'll we'll hook you back up otherwise he may go and find a uh, a welcome home somewhere, somewhere with big walls. Now, let, who, who else? Look at these two here, the pups. These You're telling me they're only eight weeks old? They look about 18. These two puppies are only eight weeks old. They were found in a graveyard yesterday in um, Allen, near um, Kilmeag in County Kildare. One of them had actually fallen into a grave apparently yesterday morning, and the grave digger took him out and just left them there. But uh, all it takes all kinds of people, I suppose. Um, they're Great Dane crosses, according to our vets. So, I mean, they're, they're huge. They're going to be huge. Great and Dane crosses. There's a lot of feeding in these guys, I think, over the next few months and years. A lot of space, huge big yeah. animals, but beautiful dogs. If you had space for the two of them, you'd have a great time. Yeah, all right, and we have some smaller friends down here. We have. We have a Westie here that was found as well before Christmas. Now, he is about 10 years old. He's uh, for some reason, holds his head to the one side all the time, goes around in circles a lot, but a nice chappy and okay. uh, would, would do a nice retirement home and absolutely make a sweet pet for somebody. He's a few years left in Looks him. Looks a bit cranky. Is he okay? Usually I'm afraid of Westies, but this one's okay. okay. All right, this is okay. <laughs> Is it, is it not a full Jack Russell? Is the make of them just over to the right? This is a little the Jack brown one, Martin, with a white spot. Yeah, that's a Jack Russell look-alike. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> this little guy was found in Nason County Kildare uh, Christmas Eve. Again, running up and down the main street, licking and jumping up and down all the local kids. Nobody has claimed him. Nobody look. has come forward. Ah. He's a great fun puppy he's really only friendly. about seven months old and needs a bit of training because he's a bit mad but he's great otherwise okay, i'm gonna get shot because we're, we're running out of time here but we got th this has to be santa's little helper La this is santa's little helper yeah. as featured in the papers yesterday he was found abandoned from a car on uh, day four christmas eve he's a gorgeous gorgeous lurcher as you and i you know greyhounds and yeah. they're not supposed to be that thin i mean he's he's a very friendly dog he's lived in a house at some point because he goes tries to get in the hall door okay. very clean very house trained lovely animal excellent stuff and don't forget, if you are around town, pop into the bank. Give just 10 euros to, to, to pause. I mean, the bank will give you all the details of the accounts and every little bit helps. Gina, thank you very much. Happy New Year. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks. We'll see you all in the New Year.